guys, we're down here at Glenview Golf Academy and today we're going to be reviewing Callaway's Epic Irons. And it's very exciting, isn't it? It is. There's a lot of hype about these things. Yeah, there's uh, quite a stir going on about the price of these irons. Yeah, they start, they're there about 1,500 quid. That's a lot of money for irons. Yeah, it's pretty pricey. Pretty pricey. So, they've got to be epic, haven't they? They do. Right, so, the designers were given the task of creating their dream irons. So it's got to be forgiving, uh, high speed, high ball speed, um, and very, very long. Yeah. And that's everything that they want, forgiveness and everything. So we'll find out if all that is what it's supposed to be. Absolutely. So the technology that they've used in this, I'm hoping to get this right. So first of all, they've got an exo cage. They've got something very similar to the jailbreak technology that's in the, um, in the driver. So they've got the, the two sort of strengthening posts, I guess, uh -huh. in the back. Um, so that's improving forgiveness. Then they've got injection molded tungsten that keeps the centre of gravity low because they sort of put it in the bottom. Yeah. And the last thing is, it's got face cup technology <laughs> or, or cup face. <laughs> Basically means it's around the outside. Yeah? Yeah, sounds good guys. But it's all in there. Yeah. It's all inside, you can't see it. I like to see it. It's a bit fat, isn't it? It would be nice. It's a bit fat. Yeah. Putting that carbon stuff on to make it look cool, but just hides the fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Hides the fun. You don't want it hiding the fun. You want to see the fun. What are you win? <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, what's going to happen now, Will? So guys, we're going to hit five shots each, get some data, have a look at it, see how it performs. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go first, but first of all, before we start, what are you expecting? So guys, I'm expecting straighter shots than usual. Yeah. Longer shots than usual. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd imagine it's gonna be a low spinning. Yeah, I would yeah. expect all of those things as well. However, I have my suspicions that it's not gonna be as epic as the price tag is. Yeah, it's quite yeah. So, I mean I'm I'm open minded, I'm willing to be convinced. So I'm gonna go first, I'm gonna hit five shots, see how it performs. Alright, let's go. First things first guys, it's a 7 iron, we didn't mention that. So, I hit mine, it's a 7 iron, there or thereabouts, 165, 170 carry. So we'll see if it does the same or further. Let's go for it. Pre-shot routine. That felt nice. Felt very nice off the face, that very nice indeed. It's a little bit longer than my usual carry, and it did feel lovely. So let's discuss looks for a minute. This is the normal version, the Epic, it's not the Pro. And it is a little chunky, it looks a little chunky, but that's because we're used to a thinner iron now we've got some new nice irons. Isn't it weird? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your input. Again, a little fading. Let's see how far it goes when I hit it straight instead of fading. Or fat. Mmm, very nice. I'll be honest, I tried to whack that one. Very similar numbers. A bit of forgiveness in there for sure. That was really fat. It's still exactly the same. Not bad at all. I'm willing to see uh, to see what yours are, and then we can discuss it. Yep. So guys, you've just seen Pete hit five shots. You've got some uh, very interesting numbers, which we'll look at shortly. So now I've got this in my hand, I'll give you my first impressions 
it is quite attractive in the design. Um, some people might not like it, each to their own taste, I guess. But as it is a game improvement iron, I'm not a fan of the chunkiness of it. It is a bit too chunky for me. The offset will give you know the lower handicappers, newer golfers, a bit of confidence. But I think for the better player, they might find this not as appealing. So I'll go hit five shots, see what numbers we get. It actually felt really nice off the face, very solid. Sounded good. Sounded good. Mm. Decent numbers, a little bit further than now I would hit my 7 iron usually. I hit that one a bit out of the bottom. Almost identical results though. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. I expect not to go quite as far, it was a little fair. Yeah, I didn't go quite as far. The thing that I'm interested in seeing the most out of these numbers is as those amateurs are quite inconsistent, we do have quite a lot of inconsistent strikes. So if we are getting similar numbers with inconsistent strikes, I'd say that is one big plus for this club. That was a bit of a pull draw. Interested to see how this one does. One's big, one's massive. For a seven iron. I'd go as far as to say that that one's too big. I think that would put you in a lot of trouble. Very similar to the last bit of a pull draw. I did hit quite a bit behind the ball that time. Got some good distance though. Mm. Right, so that's five shots. We'll have a quick look at those numbers, see how it's done. Give you our honest opinion. So we've looked at those numbers. What do we think, Wayne? Quite impressed with those numbers. I think so, yeah. Yeah, we've both got very similar results. Man slightly further, carry distance, total distance, as we do anyway. It's a little bit further than my current clubs that I use. Slightly further than mine as well, yeah. yeah. Very forgiving. Very forgiving. So, it's very low spinning, isn't it? It is. Which means that when we hit a bad one, it doesn't balloon up and disappear off to the right or to the left. Yeah. Um, so, they group very nicely, don't they? Even when we've not particularly had a great strike. I hit a few fat ones there and they still went the same distance, the same sort of, the same Yeah. Line. Yeah, I hit a couple towards the end where I was getting the map before the ball. Uh, if anything, I got a bit more distance. I did draw my last two balls. But the forgiveness is definitely there, isn't it? Yeah, plenty of forgiveness. And plenty of length. Yeah, I mean, that's what they're made for. Forgiving, good distance, very consistent. I think he's doing exactly what they said he will do. Yep, is it your dream iron? Unfortunately, it's not my dream iron. Right, but, I, but this is the game improvement iron, isn't it? It is. So, for a game improvement iron, very good, isn't it? It is very good. I think it is aimed towards those people that do need a little help with getting distance. Mm. And, like I say, if it is very forgiving. I think the people that you'll see that do buy these mm. are the people that just have to brag because they've got the most expensive golf. It is very, very expensive. It is. And for the price of that, you can buy two or three sets of great irons anyway, game improvement irons. Yeah, I think so. I mean, personally, if I was looking to buy golf clubs, I wouldn't be looking at something that costs this much. No. No. But then again, we're mere, mere paupers, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, if that's what you want to do, by all means, go ahead. Go test these clubs. They are really good. They are very good, yeah. yeah. So, coming up next, we've got... The Epic Pro. Epic Pros. So that's probably more suited to us because at the moment, Wayne is off... I play off 10. And I play off 11. So, probably getting more into the players' irons and that's what we've got at the moment. So, yeah. we're looking forward to hitting those as well. So, guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a like. We'll see you next time. Yeah, and share your thoughts down in the comments below. Yeah, let us know what you think of these. Some people might be really raving about them. Some people might be disgusted at the price. Yeah. So let us know what you think. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.